This is your local news brief for Friday, June 19th, 2020. The city of Pasadena reports 1,099 confirmed coronavirus cases, a 76 case increase from last week. With two additional virus-related deaths since last week, the death toll is now at 86. The Pasadena City Council entered into an agreement with the Pasadena Community Foundation and allocated $500,000 to create a small business fund in response to COVID-19. The fund would provide up to $10,000 for each selected Pasadena small business. The Los Angeles Public Health Department has released guidelines for nursing facility visitations. Pasadena Now reports that although the Pasadena Public Health Department is in line with the county, it is not clear whether or not nursing facilities in the city have received visitation instructions. The Pasadena City Council approved the budget for the upcoming fiscal year. Some of the budget includes an overall $2.47 million reduction, an increase to the general fund and public health departments, about $83.5 million for the police department. With recent protests, the council discussed the defunding of police. Although no council members supported defunding, Mayor Terry Tornick addressed the need for transparency in the human services aspect of policing. In the meeting, Tornick said, a symbolic slashing of the police department budget when we have a budget deadline of June 30th, I don't think is the way to respond to that. The National Day Laborers Organizing Network, or NDLON, and the Pasadena branch of the NAACP have released a bill calling for law enforcement changes. The bill asks for the redistribution of 20% of the police department budget, roughly $16 million, into social services. It also asks for reformed force policies, an end to racial profiling, psychological evaluations, and more. Additional information on the bill can be found at actionnetwork.org forward slash groups forward slash NDLON. During Monday night's council meeting, council member John Kennedy and Mayor Terry Tornick summarized a plan for civilian oversight of the Pasadena Police Department. The plan, drafted by the Public Safety Committee, would also require a police reform report within 60 days. Kennedy, who leads the Public Safety Committee, reported a unanimous vote to look at various police reform models. 